Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're talking all about Chanel. It's very timely as today is July 1st and today's the day that the Chanel price increase goes into effect. So the rumors that I talked about in my very last video turned out to be true and this time not only is it a price increase that affects most of their popular handbags, but it is a massive price increase. So we're talking ballpark 15% increases on some of their most classic items, including things like the classic flaps, the mini flaps, the 19 flaps, the boy bags, the reissues, even the wallet on chain. I was surprised to hear that the walk was going up again because it just went up a few months ago. And previous to that, the walk's price was stable for over two years. So this sudden burst of price increases on the walk is a bit of a surprise. While the other increases are not that much of a surprise, if you've been into Chanel for a while now, I think we've all been kind of trained to expect these increases. Back in the day, increase were every few years then they became every other year and then once a year and now twice a year and who knows it might increase so this is happening pretty fast and furious but the increase amount is really what's shocking to me whatever way you look at it anywhere between 10 to 15 percent is a lot think about if you got a 10 to 15 percent raise on your pay 10 to 15 percent increase in interest on your mortgage or in your rent 10 to 15 percent bonus okay it's a lot of money so it's not even about affordability sometimes my subbies you guys comment to my video saying oh my gosh i'm so upset i have been saving so diligently and now this bag is going up in price and it sucks and i agree with you it's not fun but then there are other commenters that will reply to that original comment saying well you know if you can't afford Chanel, you shouldn't buy it. Or if you can't deal with the price increases, then you can't afford Chanel. And I think that's bogus, totally bogus. I'm sure there is a few of you out there. There's a minority of you who cannot afford it. It's well out of your budget and you really shouldn't go through hardship for any kind of bag, for any kind of luxury item, because it's not a necessity. So if you can't afford it truly, and it would really create a financial hardship for you, then stay away, walk away. I'm telling you now, it's not worth it. No handbag is ever worth it. It's a material item. It's not that important. But for the most of us, I think that when you say you're saving, it means you're being disciplined and responsible and you've got priorities where you spend in other more important areas and you're allocating a certain amount of money to dedicate to luxury you know, goods like this. And when you say that it sucks that the price went up again, I feel you because Anything addition to the original price, anything $100, $500, $1,000, whether you can afford it or not, it's just not fun. It's not. So I don't like seeing those comments about how Chanel is trying to cater to those who can afford it. I think there are a lot of people. I think the majority of the people who watch my channel can technically afford, even if the prices go up, but it's about worth. Do you feel it's worth it? Is it valuable enough to you? Are you going to enjoy it as much knowing that you paid X amount versus the original price? Okay, so it's a psychological thing. So I just wanted to put that out there right off the bat just to kind of clear the air. I also want to do this video just to bring this conversation to a higher level, meaning a look back into the past prices, a look forward into what we might expect from Chanel in the future just to have like a broader bigger picture because I think sometimes we as humans and I do this myself we kind of get stuck on the details of oh my gosh it's another $500 oh my gosh it's another $800 and yeah like I said if that bothers you enough and you don't feel that it's worth it anymore then totally you control your money you decide so you can either go for it or you can walk away but I want to give a higher level perspective for those of you who are true, true Chanel fans, those who love Chanel for whatever reason, whether it's because of the history of the brand, whether it's because of the heritage, maybe you absolutely adore the story of Gabrielle Chanel, whatever the case, the designs, the aesthetics, Karl Lagerfeld, whatever causes you to be so smitten with Chanel, if that runs really deep and you know you're not going to be able to let go of the idea of owning a Chanel classic piece, then we got to make it happen, okay? Because life, you've got one life to live. And if it's something you really want and you really feel like 
it's something you want to add to your life, then we'll make it happen if with within your means. So I want to give you a perspective. So look at this here. This is courtesy of the law, excuse me, the fashionlaw.com. And it's just a snapshot of the Chanel price increases. And I've I've shared this before in former videos where I covered previous price increases, but this is the one I found recently where it shows medium classic flat bags pricing from 1990 to this year, 2021. Okay, so this is speculative as of today, meaning if the rumors are true, which I believe them to be, yes, then uh, 7,800 is what the medium classic flap is going up to. That's a thousand dollar increase. Thousand dollars. I literally bought my medium classic flap, this one here in the beige clear, a few months ago in the boutique for 6,800. Just a few months ago. So this going up to 7,800, but look at the trend line. It's just an upward, <laughs> that's it, it just keeps climbing. It's just a huge mountain, right? So why am I showing this to you other than, wow, it's depressing, look how expensive these things have gotten? No, no. If you look at it from a high level, what this shows is that, look at this, 2010, okay, that was 20 years ago. I know that's crazy. 2010, what was I doing? 2010 was when my, my daughter was born. So 2010, if I think back, oh, when I gave birth to my daughter and I treated myself with a push gift, I know that's kind of trendy thing to do, and I bought myself a medium classic flap at the time, holy cow, I would have saved so much money. I would have paid only, quote unquote, $2,850. Wow, what a steal. I wish I had bought it then, right? That's the kind of feeling versus buying it up here. But that's how people are going to be talking in 20 years from now. They're going to be saying, can you imagine you had the chance to buy a medium classic flap at $7,800 and now it's $17,000. Okay, and the Birkins are $30,000 or whatever because everything climbs. Chanel's not the only luxury house that increases their prices. They may be the leader, <laughs> they may be the pioneer, they may be the most aggressive, but they're certainly not the only ones. So I would imagine in 10, 20 years, we're going to look back and think, this is cheap, relatively speaking. Okay, so I wanted to give that perspective because if you think you're going to really enjoy having a Chanel Classic flap as an example, and you're going to use it for 20 plus years and get a lot of enjoyment out of it, I think that if you look at this picture, you might go, you know what? It's worth it for me because in 25 years, I'm going to look back and go, wow, I got a deal compared to today's price and I got 25 years of use out of this beautiful, gorgeous bag that I've always wanted, right? So I just wanted to share that perspective. And by the way, I do think that in like 10 years, not even 20, in 10 years at this rate, the Chanel Classic Flat medium size is going to be about $17,000. That's my prediction if you do the math. Yeah, crazy, huh? Crazy, but not so crazy, right? Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. And then for those of you who are more on the, you know, disciplined, budget-oriented side, kudos to you if you're saving and you are planning, but you want to fit it into your budget. You don't want to um, go above your means and you don't want to um, stretch your budget. Again, kudos. I think that's the way to go. Um Pre-loved. The pre-loved market may be for you. And I've been getting a lot of questions over the last couple of days since this news broke asking me, hey, I found a pre-loved classic flap in pink caviar, in black lambskin, in this and this and this and this. It's in this condition and it's priced at X. Do you think it's a good deal? And honestly, it's hard for me to answer without looking at the bag because I would have to see the condition. I would have to see what it comes with. Does it come with the accessories, etc.? And um, yeah, all of that. But generally speaking, I do think that the pre-love market still has some good deals. Now, if you go on to Fashion File, they are fast. Their classic flat prices psh, already went up. Already went up over the last couple of days. So the pre-loved market is reflective of the new Chanel price increases. That is for sure. And that should be of no surprise. That's just straight business. It's opportunistic. So I'm going to show you really quickly what I mean. 
So I just showed you my Beige Claire Medium Classic Flap. Here's one exact same bag in new condition. It says it's in giftable condition. Can you see that? On Fashion File, look at that price. $8,095. That's above retail. Plus you have to factor in tax. Okay, and 45 people have hearted this, which means they're tracking it. They're following this because they're interested even though it's above retail. So that tells me there are people out there willing to pay retail or, I mean, excuse me, that tells me people are willing to pay above retail, which no surprise, we've known that. That's why the resale market is thriving. But there are also probably huge populations of people who have no access to the boutiques, who have no purchase history and cannot order by phone, or they can't find this. The Beige Claire is one of those bags that you can't really save a whole lot of money on the pre-love market, which is why I went ahead and bought this in brand new condition. So, you know, for some people it's worth it. They don't want to wait and they'd rather pay a little bit above retail to get the bag of their dreams. Or I know that Fashion File does kind of like a layaway program. I don't know exactly how it works, but I think you can pay, it's like a payment plan. And so maybe that works for some people. Maybe rather than pay it all in one chunk, having a, uh, a payment plan of sorts is why they go for Fashion File. But I just wanted to show you that, yes, the prices on the, re the pre-loved market are definitely reflecting the increases already. Um, look at this one. This is the classic flap in small size, black caviar, gold hardware. This also looks to be in new condition. It's got stickers intact. Yep, new condition. Funny that it's new condition, but it doesn't come with anything. No dust bag, no box. And I'm going to assume no authenticity card because maybe this is the newer ones with the microchips. And we can make a whole separate video about the microchips, but I won't go down that rabbit hole today. Let's look at the price. $7,925. That's above the new retail prices. Okay, again, not factoring in taxes. So... I know I said pre-loved is an option. These are not good prices, okay? So again, unless you have some extenuating circumstances and you need a layaway program or you just can't find the bag and you're willing to pay a bit above retail, it's your money, you get to decide. Personally, I don't like the idea of paying um, so much above retail. I think sometimes patience pays off, but then again, you never know which Chanel. They might have another price increase while you're waiting, but... I'll come back to this one. There are deals though. There are deals. So look at this one. This is a beautiful classic fl flap jumbo size. Excellent condition. You see how it says excellent condition. Let's expand that. It has scratches on the hardware and some surface wear on the interior. That's it. That's wow. Beautiful. Comes with everything. Box, dust bag, authenticity card. 2015. Here's the item number if anyone wants to look it up. Anyway, it looks really nice. I'd have to really examine it. I probably would study the pictures and zoom in. That's what I do. But let's look at the price. So this is the old retail price. And look at what they're selling it for. $5,840. That's a good price for this amount of bag. Like, let me show you. Here's my jumbo. And mine is the single flap, but look at this. This is like a big bag. So you're getting a lot of bag for that price. And that price is less than the price of the medium. It's also less than the price of the small classic flaps, right? I think it's a great deal. And I know that mini bags are still kind of like in. It's the thing. Um, but if you tend to carry a lot and you prefer bigger bags, and especially if you don't mind the weight of the jumbo, mine is a single flap, as I said, so it weighs considerably less. Um, the double flap jumbo is notoriously heavy, but some people don't mind it at all. If you're used to that, if you're used to toting around a lot, then this could be the bag for you. And in terms of like market timing, I think that because mini bags are so hot, if you're looking for a bigger bag, even like the maxi, it's huge, but if you like that, if that's the look you're going for, you can save like thousands off of retail because it's not as sought after right now. And there's going to come a day at some point in the future where big bags are back in and the pricing is going to change and reflect that. So let me show you. I think I found um, a maxi too. A go oh, this one. Gorgeous maxi. Look at this. So, so pretty. 
and it looks to be in great condition, excellent condition, faint corner wear, faint scratches, that's like nothing. 2013, it doesn't come with any accessories, so if you're um, looking for the authenticity card, dust bag, box, that doesn't have, it doesn't come with it. That might be reflecting the price, but look at the price, 6175 You can't even get a small classic flap for that price. So if you want a big, badass bag, maxi. This is how it looks on the mannequin. Let me see. How do I do this? It's, it's amazing, like absolutely amazing that I have a YouTube channel because I am so technologically... Um, disadvantage like I have no clue what I'm doing as you can see I can't even click on this dang picture so that I could show you there it is I don't know why that happened so this is how it looks on the mannequin on the model I mean it's big it's big it's big I don't know how to put it but for 6175 you're getting a lot of bag again on the maxi it's a great deal versus the minis let me show you Oh, there's sirens passing by. It's late, guys. I am filming this like at dinner time because I had a really hard time um, breaking away to start filming. So it's late. Okay, so here is a mini square in lambskin. It's a beautiful black lambskin with silver hardware. Comes with everything, authenticity card, dust bag, dust bag box, 2019, very good condition. This was listed in very good condition. This one, my vintage, from Fashion File. I got it in 2019. So if you want to know what very good condition looks like, this is an example of one. Okay. And I'll talk about how much I paid for that too in a minute. So, minis, this one is used it's got a little bit of wear you can see there's a little bit of indentation there um going for 38.95 which is not crazy okay it's not crazy but it's not a steal it's not a great deal either given um, that it's used and that the retail prices are very close behind it i had another window open but i can't seem to find it um so this one the caramel mini they have a few of these on Fashion File for like $8,000, which is bonkers. I would not encourage anyone to pay nearly double plus tax from retail for anything, anything, anything. But it's your money, of course, so no judgment there. Um, it's all about worth, and it's all relative and subjective. Um, but like I said, I do think there are some great deals for the Jumbo and the Maxi. And ironically, I said I would talk about the price on this. This is turning out to be a really rambly, chatty video. I guess this is what happens when I film late. I usually film early in the morning. Um, so this one I got in 2019 off of Fashion File for about 3500 plus tax. So ballpark 4000 which I think is a fair deal. And... If you're looking to get a medium classic flap in um, in lambskin, you'll probably find slightly better deals versus caviar because it seems caviar is more popular and they price them a little bit more aggressively, which is ironic because when Chanel first, their original pricing reflected, this is like years ago, lambskin was always a little bit more expensive than caviar. This is like the original luxurious, it's lambskin, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, it's buttery, it's just... Love it. So lambskin was always a little bit more expensive than caviar. I covered this in one of my old videos talking about the history of Chanel. But it's ironic that obviously the people drive demand and consumers want caviar more. So caviar is going for a little higher on the pre-loved market. Medium and small size classic flaps. Like I said, you're going to have to really, really hunt for a deal because they're close to retail. I did find something, and I'm sorry I closed the window. I did find something earlier today. Maybe maybe it was bought in the last few hours. But I had a window open showing one of these exact same black lambskin, but slightly puffier quilting because this is a 20-year vintage. The one that I saw was only a few years old. And it was priced in the high 5000s, which I think is pretty good because you're still saving well over $1,000 off of retail, right? So there are deals. So if you want to be disciplined and stick to your original budget, um, maybe open up to the idea of pre-loved. 
like I said, I got this one, the Walk pre-loved as well. Now, I don't know if you're familiar, but the original Walks have the snap closure. That's mine here. I am totally fine with the snap closure. It's very secure. It's probably a little bit cumbersome because sometimes I have to look to see where I'm closing it. And then the newer one, let me show you on this one, my filigree, has the magnetic, so it's just easier. You can just like throw it down without paying attention and it'll close. But I do love the original snap closure still. So my point in sharing this is if you're looking for a walk, which is technically an SLG, right? Not in the handbag category, but prices are still going up on these. Um, if you look on sites like Fashion File, you may be able to score a better deal if you're willing to go for the older model with the snap closure. That's mine. This is a 2017 model. I bought it in 2019 in new condition with full set with tags attached and everything from Fashion File, but it was only like $50 below retail or something like that. And the only reason why I purchased it is because I scoured the Chanel boutiques at the time and they had no walks in this combination black caviar silver hardware so after hunting and hunting and getting frustrated when I saw this in new condition I figured okay this is the one no regrets so yeah if you're willing to um, look very carefully be patient don't compromise you will probably be able to find something that looks beautiful in your eyes and will fit your budget so I would say don't settle and then on the flip side for those of you who are like forget it I'm walking away if you feel like it's just not worth it to you or you already have some Chanel pieces and you're very happy and grateful for the pieces that you have, which is the way I'm feeling these days, and you feel like there's no no reason to go out of your way to add more, then walk away. Totally. Absolutely. I am like cheering you on. These are frivolous luxury items. They're not necessities. They're not important. I say that all the time. So if you feel like it's going to create stress, or buyer's remorse, or hardship, so not worth it. Definitely walk away. There are plenty of other beautiful bags from other brands. Doesn't even have to be luxury design houses. There are beautiful boutique brands, lesser known brands, places um, that you wouldn't see unless walking into like a no name kind of uh, boutique. And they have great stuff. So anyway, just wanted to share this. I feel like a lot of you are feeling disheartened. I've gotten comments about, you know, just I can I can just hear the the uh, frustration and um, I feel you. I feel you. I just want to say don't compromise. Don't settle. Don't also go out of your way if you don't feel it's worth it. If I think sometimes in life, whether it be frivolous things like this or more important, bigger things, we have to know our boundaries. We have to know when it's time to walk away. And again, it's not about affordability. It's not because you can or can't afford it. A lot of people can afford plenty of these, but there are other priorities in life. Maybe you prefer to pour that into your own self-development, education, travel, eating out, um, buying a house, making investments, right? So that this stuff has to fit into your portfolio of priorities. This can't be the number one thing. This is just stuff. So I don't want to lecture on for too long, but I wanted to give my perspective. I know it's a little bit of a different message than maybe some of the other videos out there, but I definitely wanted to put this out. And I hope that it wasn't too rambly and too chatty. This is what happens when I'm tired. <laughs> I'm kind of going all over the place, but I hope it was informative and helpful and maybe even thought provoking in some way. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. If you're new to my channel and you enjoy this type of content, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join our community and I will see you all next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.